This is Mark Evans, and I'm with Skylar Cohen, CEO and co-founder of Keystream. So, Skylar, what are the key ROI differences between pre-roll and in-video advertising? Mark, marketers are looking for measurable ROI in their online advertising. They want to engage, entertain, build awareness, and have immediate response, if possible, from viewers. Uh, the reason that pre-roll is not effective at doing this is because it doesn't fit the paradigm of online viewing. Viewers want to have immediate access to their content. They don't want to wait 15 to 30 seconds before their, their short clip or even for longer clips. And so the awareness building is not really being done because what people think happens is that pre-rolls start viewers clip over to another application, they wait for that, that pre-roll to finish, and then they come back to the content that they actually wanted to see. However, 45% of viewers don't even make it that far. That's the abandonment rate as an industry standard. Uh, the engagement is not proven either because pre-rolls have a 0.1% click-through rate. So it's something where you know advertisers are not really getting the engagement the, or the awareness building that they're looking for. With Keystream ads, in contrast, we have 20% rollover rate, so viewers actually rolling their mouse over our ads in, in deployments that we have with customers, and 4% click-through rates, where customers actually make it all the way to the uh, advertiser's landing page. Now, can you tell me a little bit about your in-video format as opposed to what else is out there at this time? Sure. So Keystream's unique ability to identify where the blank spaces are in the, in the background of the video allows us to place dynamically appearing advertising that lasts 10 seconds and can be anything from a static image to a fully animated SWIFT in the video. These dynamic locations don't suffer from problems that other forms of overlay have, such as banner blindness, because if you always put the banner in the bottom third of the video, people learn to tune that out because that, they, they know that's not something they want to see. And, but it's also not obtrusive because it actually doesn't land on the thing that's important for viewers to watch. It, it, it lands in the sky or the green grass or the, or the wall behind me, not on the, on, the, uh, on the speaker's face. And it's completely automated. This is what our core video analytics does. It allows us to automate this. And so you get, these, you get the engagement, the 20% rollover, the 4% click-through rate. Uh, it can be entertaining if you have animated swifts or, or contests that you run in those, in those spots. And it certainly builds awareness because people are, are interacting with the format. Well, thank you, Skylar. This is Mark Evans.